Innovation is a wonderful thing, but we have something stifling it, and that sucks. What I'm referring to is patent litigation. And if you know anything at all about the patent litigation system and what's going on with it right now, you'll know what I'm about to go into. And that's, well, the technology giants, you know, like Google, Microsoft, Apple, and all of those different companies, they're pretty much locked in this titanic struggle of litigation and lawsuit where everybody is apparently infringing on everybody's patents in all of these different fields, and everybody has their own stake in this and that, and, well, if anybody makes anything like this, we're going to sue them, and apparently everybody is copying everybody just about. That's what it seems like. That's what they're all claiming. And, well, quite frankly, it's reached a frightening level where anything new that's released along the same lines as another product is now an infringement. And yes, to a point they have all been copying from each other. But in a way, that almost makes it worse, doesn't it? Because, well, each one is calling bullshit on each other one for doing what they've all done. Everybody's got a little blood on their hands in this, but each one just points at the others and says, look what they did. There's culpability to go for everybody. But besides all of that, the real problem here is that we have a minefield set up now in technological innovation, especially with any sort of computer-related technology, where if you want to release a new smartphone idea or you want to work with any sort of technological platform that's already developed and you create a new innovation there, there's a very good chance that someone's going to sue you for some kind of whatever patent that they filed where it's gotten to the point that people are filing patents on some of the most ridiculous concepts, like double-clicking, which in of itself is sort of an innovation when it first came about, but now when you're patenting opening a program via double-click on a tablet, and that's somehow a new separate patent, or where you have, you know, the infamous Apple Rounded Corners patent, that's a nifty little design, rather than sharp edges, rounded corners. That seems pretty ergonomic and simplistic, yet Apple somehow is claiming they innovated this concept? Are you for real? But when you look at all of this insanity, you can easily see that there's a bit of a problem. What happens with innovation in these fields when all innovation gives you the risk of lawsuit? Well, it's pretty simple. A lot of innovators might not innovate then, or they'll move on to something else, some other field, which they might do good work there, but it reaches a sort of Mexican standoff point where everybody's afraid almost to release a product without a team of lawyers behind it and years of research into just the legality of it or having to file an array of lawsuits before the product's released just to secure themselves from an array of lawsuits. Are you insane? People are creating apps all the time. Sure, people are creating apps all the time, but apps are not the same as the hardware. The problem becomes in technological hardware, the chips, the design casings, anything, the screen, it, it, actually even the OSs. Do you do a certain kind of swipe? Well, that's patented. Your phone unlocking with this kind of gesture is patented, and this phone gesture is patented, and each individual little minutia of the process has been patented and locked down where no one's allowed to do anything like any of the competitors. And innovation truly comes from a sharing of ideas and in a cooperative effort. And I understand the need to make profit and to secure your designs. It sucks if you make a product and then a week later somebody makes a rip-off version of your thing, undercuts you because they didn't have to do the research, and then you're out. That sucks, and that's why patents should exist. However, patents are now being used as an offensive weapon, where they're being used to knock out any competition from markets. If you want to compete with Apple in a market, well, especially like the phone market, you'd better be ready because they're going to try to sue you. And for better or for worse, that's what the system is right now. And to a point, there's not a lot the average person can do. Like, I look at this problem and I'm concerned about it. Stifling of innovation technology is never good, but what can I do about it? What can you do about it? I'm not too sure on that point. But I want to, at the very least, raise an awareness of these issues. Check out patent litigation. Check out the lawsuits going on with Samsung and Amazon and Apple and Microsoft. And at least inform yourself as to how treacherous this whole thing has become. And maybe an answer will pop to you. Maybe 
Somebody out there can do something to ameliorate the situation. Because as it stands right now, information technology and the hardware and software is becoming it's becoming a minefield rather than an rather than an innovative field. And that's a tragedy. Just something to think about.